Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable the NumLock key on startup or rebooting your Windows computer. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu. Just off on the start button one time. Type in regedit, it's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back with registry editor in the search menu results. You want to go ahead and right click on that option in this list. And then you want to select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you do anything in the registry, I'd highly suggest that you create a back above it. And it's quite simple how to do that. You would just left click on the file, tap up at the top left, select export. Save it to a convenient location on your computer. File name usually adds to just naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all, and then just go ahead and save it. And once you've made your backup, if you ever need it to come back from the backup, you just do File Import and navigate over to the registry file location on your computer. So pretty simple. So once you're going ahead and done that, now you want to expand the HK Users folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Now you want to do the same thing for the default folder right underneath. So go ahead and double click on that. Do the same thing now for the control panel folder. And now there should be a folder that says keyboard. Go ahead and left click on that one time. On the right side there should be something that says initial keyboard indicators over here on the right. You want to go ahead and right click on it. Select modify. In the value data field here you want to delete whatever number is in here. So just delete it. Type the number 2 on your keyboard and then select OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.